Okay, so um, our little parametric oscillator is up and running. There is the circuit um, by Enrocha, redrawn by Vortex One. So as we actually understand what everything is and what it is doing, um, pretty much looks like an over budget jewel piece. But anyway, it's up and going. Our scope at the moment is just hooked across our um, negative rail and I have a little tag there coming off the collector of our um, TIP 122 Darlington transistor. I placed a uh, neon across the emitter collector junction just for some form of protection. Uh, like this, the, tran the uh, transistor runs very cool. This is out of one of your um, fluoro or CFL camping lights that run on batteries, just a step up transformer and um, a neon plugged into the secondary, which is only lighting on one side, oddly enough, even though it's getting an AC signal out of it. But anyway, uh, so our, um, what do you call that, L1, or toroid inductor, um, so denoted here as T2 instead of T1, uh, 50 turns each side, sorry, 50 turns each side, uh, in this case, I don't know how many turns, I just pulled this out of a um, CPU power supply and uh, that's what we're using. Now you will see um, this little L1 here is supposed to go through the centre that way of T2 according to the schematic but what I have done is wound two coils and set them up against the uh, core horizontally so we're going in a clockwise fashion there steps across the core continues in a clockwise fashion so our magnetic field will be traveling back and forth and not in bucking mode <coughs> oddly enough without that in play and um, that just bridged where that coil is it does draw more current however the um, neon is also a lot brighter. The other odd thing with this is it has our um, signal across our collector emitter junction. And you can see that we get um, our oscillations, then a big break, our oscillations, big break. And so if I ex decrease the time base, that is basically what we have. So our transistor is spending a lot of time off because we can see the voltage across it during the off time and also in between the oscillations you can see if I down, crank that, oh, wrong one, crank that across this way a bit hit stop run you'll see very very short on time I'll zero that out that's better very short on time during the oscillations very large off time and we also have a large break between oscillations this only is true until such time as I wind the pot up. Now we can wind the pot up and get our neon really cranking like so extremely bright and now you can see our frequency has gone right up. So we'll wind the pot back down Now that we've touched the pot, 
after starting it I know this time we're going to go back before I um, had the oscillations all the way through couldn't get the gap in between but um, it does work and it certainly does make that uh, neon sing as well as the transformer so um, that's about it for now that is our um, U-Butte circuit the underneath that's our little um, tag sticking off the collector that we had our scope on and then the other side was just on ground so um, <coughs> up and running and the pot configuration is quite odd because it's um, across C4 our cap which is feeding the base of our um, tip 122 so the more you decrease the resistance of that pot, it's basically um, placing a larger short across the cap. So um, a lot of unnecessary burnt off power there, I would think. The only thing I don't have on here is this 4700 picofarad cap. I did put it on there and I've seen absolutely no difference on the scope or the uh, power draw of the device so I've just left it off um, I don't have the two full wave bridge rectifiers in play either um, I do have the pin out there for our charging circuit but um, at the moment I'm just looking at it uh, with the neon being the load across what is called T1 here so um, and as I said that T1 is just out of one of them little uh, CFL camping lights that run on batteries and it does the job alright transistor doesn't get hot of course we can uh, shoot our temperature gauge at that it's running at 28.8 degrees centigrade at the moment, or Celsius, whatever you want to call it. I have no doubt it'll get a little warmer if we drove it a bit harder, but um, there you have it. It's up and running. If you go too far on the pot, it starts to chew a lot of power and your neon dies down in brightness. But um, other than that, that is it so far. So um, I think, looking at the schematic, just a few extra bits and pieces here and there, caps and um, extra uh, coils. And basically, we've got a uh, dual faith. Looking at the way that uh, T2 here is wide, start of one, the end of the other, joined together, one going through there. Um, through our uh, transistor and um, so basically you've got a dual piece with all these extra caps and uh, a variable resistor instead of your uh, 1k ohm resistor and um, some fancy other bits and pieces here so, uh, all of which will um, of course dissipate some uh, power unnecessarily so I reckon we can get this to run just as good in standard dual piece trim I'm using this little transformer here but uh, nonetheless I was asked to make it and I've made it and um, that's what we have it's, um, it's, uh, it's gone out that's what it's done but uh, there we go, up and running again. So that's it. Nothing special to report so far on this one. Thanks for watching and
and um, have a good day.